the excitement is in particular in the immunotherapy. You mentioned CAR T cells as a speaking example. Uh, we heard uh, amazing data uh, about the treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, an ever-growing number of patients that has re been receiving CAR T cells in the United States. Uh, for instance, we saw examples of patients that were completely refractory to all previous lines of treatment, including transplants, with a packed bone marrow, 100% lymphoblast in ALL, florid ALL, and within a couple of weeks after one infusion of CAR T cells, the bone marrow was empty and repopulated with normal hematopoiesis. So, and, uh, so this is uh, a speaking example from ALL, where many patients have been treated now. Similar uh, findings are done in chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and CLL, and now the first data come out for the non-Hodgkin lymphomas, both diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma, although the groups of patients is still limited, there are significant responses, more than 50% of the OBCL patients and follicular lymphoma patients, and they're also lasting. Speaking again about CAR T-cells, this is of course a complicated technology, so this is not available at this stage for all comers. We still have to stick to uh, uh, more conventional means of treatment and in addition to cytostatic drugs, let's not forget about the new smart molecules the, like uh, idelalizib and ibrutinib, the kinase inhibitors that are very effective and now combinations are developed uh, with antibodies or antibody drug conjugates, another uh, promising field uh, also in the non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Uh, in follicular lymphoma, I see as the major development that we try to get rid of cytostatic drugs in the first place, at first induction, try to keep the patient away from cytostatic drugs as long as possible and induce durable remissions with rather non-toxic uh, immunotherapeutic agents, the antibodies, antibody drug conjugates, the kinase inhibitors.